I'm defining prayer as talking with God about what I and God are doing together. Prayer is a conversation. Prayer is conferencing with God. It's speaking to God, bringing my requests to God, uh, my heart to God, uh, things I'm concerned about to God, and so on. But prayer is also listening to God. Most of my prayer times now are, are listening, even more than speaking. I've learned that while God loves me and is very interested in what I want to say to Him, that God's words are far more interesting than my words could ever be. In order to hear the voice of God, to hear God speak to you, to engage in this conversation, a foundational attribute that's needed is humility. Humility is an English word that we get from the Latin word humus, which means soil. A humble heart is a heart that's good soil where seeds can be planted. So a person who has a humble heart has a heart that's open to whatever God wants to say to them. Now, when God speaks to us, it's always going to be good and it's always going to be loving. But it takes a humble heart to hear these things. Some of the things that God will tell us will challenge us and they will convict us. They will straighten us out. They might be hard things to hear. So some people harden their own hearts so as not to hear them. That's called pride. Pride, the opposite of humility, is what Francis Frangipane called the armor of darkness. Or as C.S. Lewis called pride, the complete anti-God state of mind. Humility, on the other hand, is a soft heart, an open heart, where God can plant his seeds of ideas, thoughts, direction, conviction, and so on. James 4.6 gives us this very important idea. God is opposed to the proud, but gives grace to the humble. So humility is a wonderful heart condition to be in. It is the open door to the grace of God.